Hey guys, I'm Clinton from the Four Ocean Guatemala cleanup crew. You might have seen how bad it messes out here. This is the reality of the plastic pollution. I remember the first day when I came here and from the distance it looked like there was snow on the beaches. And obviously it's too hot for snow to be on the beach, right? And it was just all plastic. In a large part of the country, there's no central waste management set up. So it's either private waste management companies or there's no waste management at all. So for about 65% of the population, any plastic that they use is discarded into the environment. Trash and plastic that is thrown out in the interior of the country, it collects in riverbeds, it collects in ravines. And when the monsoons happen in the summer, all of that plastic is flushed down to the coast where it is washed into the ocean. Now winds and tides and currents move that plastic around and the plastic that floats ends up on the beaches. Four Ocean is an ocean cleanup company at its heart. You know, our mission is to clean the world's rivers, oceans, and coastlines, and we do this one pound at a time. We started in August 24th of 2020 uh, with just three or four people. We quickly grew to over 50 employees that we have today. Our average pounds that we collect each day is around 3,000. And so far we've collected 2.6 million pounds. Right now, we're trying to expand on the Rio Matagua, which is one of the most polluted rivers in the world. The cleanup team along the Rio Matagua is strategically placed to intercept plastic before it reaches the ocean. Our captains and crews go out each morning and afternoon of each day collect that plastic and trash from the beaches and coastlines, bring them back to our facility, classify that plastic trash through uh, the grade, type, and color and condition of that plastic, and we try to find a responsible recycler. And depending on the quality and the degradation of the plastic, it then goes on to a few places. The highest quality plastic we turn into bracelets. It's really important to us to keep the benefits of collecting trash out of the ocean in Guatemala as much as we can. So that's why we partnered with Wakami. This partnership is very important. It's become a key part of our business, not only because of how much volume we produce, but also because we're also being part of a movement that takes plastic out of the rivers and the oceans. The trash is removed from the river, it's sent to Wakami, it's made into bracelets, those bracelets are sold to our supporters around the world, and those funds then go directly back into the project, and it's just one big circular economy that's created by helping the environment. If somebody came to your home and put mud into your water supply and your water supply was no longer safe for drinking, what would you do? You, you would do everything you could to fix it. That's how I look at the ocean. Everybody on this planet is connected to the ocean, indirectly or directly, it's still a connection. Ahora que vemos la contaminación que hace más o menos como unos 20 años en adelante, se ha ido, el pescado ha ido huyendo porque hay mucha eh, tela, hay mucho cartón, mucho plástico y causa de eso el pescado ha demigrado, se ha ido a otros lugares. Seeing the ocean become polluted and seeing species die out, it's impossible not to want to do something to fix it. Porque gran parte del sustento del ser humano proviene del océano. 
Y si nos quedamos sin el océano, vamos a perder el planeta. There's a lot of things that everyday people like you and me can do to reduce our plastic impact. We're not asking you to completely change your lifestyle. It's one step at a time. It's not, we're not gonna change the culture overnight. Um, we're not gonna change habits overnight. It all starts at home, teaching our kids, our family, why plastic is not environment friendly, why recycling is so important. Take a fork from your kitchen if you're getting takeout. Get a reusable water bottle that you can clean and use for years and years and years. These small steps taken by hundreds of millions, billions of people will have a huge impact on the plastic that's in our environment. I think when many of us get together to create a better way, a better way around plastic, a better way for many things, that's when change will really happen.